Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and this is the Let's Play on the Hawkburger map reloaded episode 92 maybe? So we're gonna go and sell some pigs. Let's see, load. 12 pigs, that's okay. So let's go and sell those. Um, after that we're gonna go and actually think I'm gonna buy mm, was it, no, I think I'm gonna do some wood chipping actually I have set up my I've, I've driven over with a, um, my forest harvester to the forest and set that up so it's ready to go and then we're gonna go and we're gonna bring over my truck with um, with some sort of container on it so we can have wood chips there and then we need a wood chipper I guess Som something to actually chop the wood with and turn it into wood chips and what else do we need I think that's about it We'll do that after we after we uh, sell these pigs. Basic. So I hope everyone is doing okay out there, having a great day. Um, it's Monday here, so by the time you see this, I'm probably at work. I don't know if I told you that. I'm not. I'm, I might not have said that, but I decided to stop. Um, stop school. Going to school. I'm almost done there in school, but the thing that actually made me decide on it is that um, I was getting symptoms of burnout or <laughs> exhaust. Um, I don't know what this English terminology would be, but it's, if you translate it directly from Swedish, it's like exhaustion depression. So, and I promised myself if I ever got that, I would stop. Fifteen grand, great work. Uh, so we're starting to get the symptoms, and that makes make, makes me scared. Well, it's understandable that it would make me anyone scared. So I. And the symptoms were that I I didn't have a hard time sleeping. On the contrary, I usually sleep. I can sleep six hours and be fully rested and feel great. But I started sleeping like eight, nine hours per night, and I didn't feel rested. I was just ex as exhausted when I woke up as I was when I went to bed. And that's a warning sign. And I started to not feel this sort of stuff, which I do, which I really enjoy doing, playing games and doing videos. I didn't feel that way anymore. I felt like I didn't want to do it, so I didn't do it. That's also one of the reasons why I didn't de didn't do stuff before my exam. There, one reason being that I didn't have time. The other was that I just didn't have any feelings for it, any positive feelings. So. So I basically sort of um, did some sort of exhaustion mood and my colleagues started noticing things and my fiance started noticing things too. So about the last three weeks, two and a half, three weeks, I felt that I had to do something. I had the exam, so I finished the exam. I will see if I pass. I hope I passed. Um, and hopefully I passed. I'm not sure how we did pass, but I, ho I hope I passed. And and then after the exam, I just sort of went into mode, next course mode, uh, which is okay. Then uh, last Tuesday we had we have this thing in work called handling, which is where we meet a psychotherapist. And my colleagues and me, and we talk about the, what the job we do. So it's a way of handling the tough stuff we do and tough stuff we meet 
in our line of job work sorry line of work and um, we're talking about exhaustion and that sort of depression that type of depression and I suddenly realized I have to stop something and I don't want to stop working I have to stop I can't stop working I need the money and I like my my job um, so the thing that was left was um, stop school so I decided to do that this is what I'm gonna go sell this somewhere and then we're gonna go and go and get a wood chipper I think I can attach a wood chipper to the back of this I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think we can now where could I sell this Sell it down by land hunting. So, um, so Tuesday I decided. Wednesday I went to my boss and said I need to talk to you. Um, they said I we need to talk to you too. And so I go, shit, what did I do now? Um, and but we, we couldn't make it happen Wednesday. So I talked to my bosses Thursday, and they wanted to talk to me about my how, how I felt. How was feeling and um, so I said uh, I don't feel well I'm, I'm gonna stop studying because I can't handle it I can't make it so it's nothing YouTubing makes me feel good so it's not that it's just that work and together with schooling doesn't work that's too much unfortunately that's the way it is so I'm gonna figure out how what to do supplies somehow I feel a little bit bad about it I mean I don't feel bad about not making it handling because that's a sign of I think it's a sign of strength In some societies I would be branded as a loser just because I couldn't handle it but I did actually handle it for quite some time and I have handled it handled a lot of it I have got a quite a lot of points, uh, credits, sorry, credits is the word I'm looking for. Oh. 18, 19, 20, almost 20,000, that's pretty good. Uh, so I have got a quite a lot of credits considering I've been working almost full time and studying full time that's not supposed to be I'm not supposed to be able to make that but I have it so I guess in that way I feel good about what I've done I'm proud of what I've done but I just can't go on on anymore it's not possible um, so I decided not to go to school and I was uh, even though I'm still very tired it, it certainly lifted a weight off my shoulders and um, feel much more relaxed and it will probably take a little bit of time to recuperate but I d I've done it in time I've done it well before I started having more problems from it and that's good and, and, and yeah, I have to do you have to do that sort of stuff you can't just wait because you, you will wait too long and it will be too late so that's what happened to my fiance but oh, let's wait see forestry there you go there good chipper so this is one but I'm probably looking at this what's this wood chips I think this can break bigger pieces like that see if I can hook this up here hopefully I can
Where's the wood chipper? No. Yay. I have to take a screenshot of this. This is pretty cool. And my computer is slow today. So let's head up over to where we have a, oh, I made it for the car, car, yeah. Okay, so let's head up over to where we have our forestry equipment set up. I don't know if I have to hook this up somehow, some other way. I mean, I need a tractor to do, to run the wood chipper. I'm not sure about that. I don't know if this has a PTO or if it can pretend it has a PTO or something. We'll see where we'll get there. Maybe we can. Maybe it'll be a perfect setup. It will just stand there, be hooked up to the back here and and we can run it like this. Or not, we'll see. Otherwise we'll bring a tractor up there. To run the wood chipper. So my idea is not my idea is to have wood chips for heating, so we'll buy a w heating plant and, and place it somewhere on the farm. And we'll run the wood chipper. We'll put wood chips in there. I don't know if you can sell wood chips on this map. Maybe you can. Mm. I don't know really. Maybe. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I I have no idea. We'll see. We'll look at it when we get to that part. Oh, yeah, I bought a copy of Farming Simulator Seven. Some that was on Farming Simulator Nineteen, and I yeah, I bought a copy of it. I thought. Would work. Oh, or go up here somewhere to the trees. Let's set them up here, I think. See if I unfold pipe. Okay, hold up. I did actually. It's an X to okay, cool. I control the arm. Field up support legs. On. It has an arm there. Oh, there you go. Okay, so. Okay, cool. Okay, so that was a pretty good. In field up, fold up support feet. I want to fold them down. As a pipe. So I'm 
something is moving when I move this here. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, well, we'll go to this one. I don't think we have to harvest as m very m many trees though. I think the trees have quite a lot of wood chip. We'll turn out, we'll get quite a lot of wood chip just from one tree. So I'm not sure we have to do this a lot. This is 10 meters, maybe that's too long. Um, how do you change that? meters maybe like that stuff over here. I want it close enough so I can I'm gonna try this out and see if it works. Maybe I can have it. I don't know if this is the best way. It looks weird too. No, no, maybe that's the way you would actually grab these. This is probably the way you would do this, standing on the side there. Look, yeah, we're making wood chips. Cool, okay. That's good, okay. 
the one of those logs? Let's see. Could be another one. on here. Woohoo! This is going great. I don't know how to get the legs down there, but uh, that would have been even greater, but Big way, good, good. I guess this maybe has an intern. This it looks like it has its own engine, so maybe it does have that. And that makes it chopping quite easy. I mean, if it has its own internal engine, then it doesn't have, doesn't need a PTO. So we'll, we'll just say it looks like it has its own engine. We'll just say it has its own engine. Probably has. Okay, great. Out of the way. Good. 
time do you have? 25 minutes, so we can fill this up. Let's see if we have need more in it. 36, we need a little bit more. If we can reach that one, let's see if we can. Yes, we can, good. because we think we're going to reach wood 5,000 there, which is the limit of our of our truck here. Oh, we, we won't, well, we're pretty close, anyway. We'll stop there after this tree. And then we need to go and sell these witches. We need to bring it down to the farm and have that power plant somewhere. So the power plant, I think, right here in Facebooks. Yeah, heating plant, 68 grand. Shopping witches, there's your money. Okay, so, have that somewhere. The farm is down here. Sign it is. We need to turn it around, I think. Maybe here? Is a good place? We'll pretend it's here and then we'll go. And then we'll put lines to different places. Oh, okay. So that's good. Um, just turn it off. We will go and sell some wood chips. I do think the price drops as you sell wood chips. I don't know if there's a limit to you. I don't think you earn a ton of money either. It's not a great deal this. This is more like getting a realistic setup where I can sell wood chips. Because I want to do some wood chips basically. That's it. Actually, gonna stop here. I'm gonna sell the wood chips on the next episode, <laughs> so you see how much money we make, or how little money we make. Probably, we we'll probably make not a lot of money. Just pick it up here. Spend quite a lot of money. So we're gonna stop there. Um. Anyway, thank you for watching Half Grave Men. On the next episode, we'll sell this and we'll do some more wood chips, or we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment to share. Take care. Bye bye.